Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, for those of you who don't know. And for today's video, I am so darn excited. I have been wanting to do a video like this for a really long time, but I finally got around to it. I am gonna be doing a face full of first impressions with Pro Fusion. So if you guys don't know, you can find Pro Fusion at Walmart, you can find Pro Fusion at Target. And I got a lot of stuff. It's not exactly a full first face, because they really don't have a lot of face products. You guys can already see, I do already have my foundation, concealer, primer, all that stuff on, but they do have like blushes, contours, highlighters, bronzers, lipsticks, uh, eyeshadows, brows, mascara. So that's what I'm gonna be testing out and I'm super, super excited. They had a huge sale online. Um, I think the most I paid for something was $10, plus I got like 10% off of my whole entire purchase. So it was amazing. Shipping was super, super fast. Yeah, I'm super excited to test everything out and just show you guys my first impressions on everything. Profusion is such an affordable brand that I was just like, I need to test and try everything out. So I am so excited. But before we jump into that portion of the video, I just want to ask you guys to please consider subscribing to my channel throughout the video if you haven't already. So you could be part of the ATFB fam, ATFB, all things fashion and beauty and hit the post notification bell so you can get notified of all my future uploads. I usually do upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 3 p.m. EST. And without further ado, I want to show y'all what I got. All right, so I'm going like in no particular order, but I just wanna kind of give you guys an overview of what I got. So first thing, I got a Lips To Go. This is a three piece of velvet lip kit. This is in the shade Kissable. And that looks so darn pretty. This is definitely my type of color. Um, I love like the pinks, the mauves, the, the nudes. So I feel like this is super, super pretty. Um, I also did get this. This is just the Pro Fusion Mini Matte Lipsticks. This is three matte lip creams. It looks super, super pretty. This was like four bucks. It's amazing. And these colors are definitely right up my alley. Then I went ahead and I got Lash Out Loud Length Volume Plus Lift mascara it looks really really pretty and I have really high standards for mascara like right now absolute favorite is the Maybelline Falsies lash lift mascara bomb that is so darn good then I got a good brow day there is an ultra fine brow pencil in here and a tinted brow gel usually what I do for at least brows is I put them on before I put on my foundation. I've been doing that lately, but I already have my base done. So we're gonna do something a little different with that today. And then I have the I Define Long Lasting Liquid Eyeliner and also a waterproof eyeliner pencil. I actually needed a wooden pencil for my uh, lash line. That is just because my mom stole my last one. Super excited to test this out. Then I went ahead and I got, this is the eyeshadow primer. So excited to test this out. I'm basically almost done with my CoverGirl Lid Locket. That is probably one of like my holy grails. I love it. It is definitely a dupe for the NARS eyeshadow base. I have super, super oily eyelids, super oily skin. So I'm really excited to see if this is going to wear throughout the day for my oily eyelids. Uh, I got two. This is the uh, liquid eyeliner. So this shade is Crystal Diamond. It's just like a pretty silver. Then I got Rose Quartz, which is a pretty rose sort of copper color so so pretty I have a so no I have a gold one from uh, Urban Decay so I was like oh I needed two other ones so just pick that up and then I went ahead and I picked up this luminizer highlight little kit and it does have uh, a sheet on it but that is what that is looking like um, I also got another one. This is highlight and contour. This is bronzer slash contour up here and then some more highlights. Um, I really don't know like what highlight stuff I'm going to be using, but we'll, we'll see. And then I got, this is the blush and bronzer, a uh, nine color blush and bronzer palette. And that is what this is looking like and it does come with a brush right here. I'm probably just going to use my own brushes, but that's what that looks like. It looks so pretty. I have my bronzers and then all my blushes. Blushes look gorgeous. And then I got, this is the Sienna's 21 shade palette and brush. This looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. This was definitely like right up my alley color scheme wise. This is definitely something that I would 
probably reach for every single day but then i saw this palette this palette looks gorgeous this is the festivals palette look at how gorgeous this looks so darn pretty oh my gosh everything just looked really really gorgeous so i'm super excited to test this out i'm probably going to use this palette instead of this one because i feel like i always do my warm tone sort of a looks for the eye so probably use this one all right so you guys are super up close and personal i think i want to start off with the eyes and that is just because i already have my base on but I want to test out the eyes so let's go ahead and prime so this is again the no budge eye shadow primer like literally i have heard so many people say so many amazing things about pro fusion and i don't think i've ever tried anything from pro fusion so that is what that is looking like and okay it looks extremely like watery and runny let's see Ooh, that's pigmented though kind of reminds me of the urban decay one which actually worked really really well for my oily lids so i've noticed that sometimes it does crease on me and this feels like really like wet feeling so i'm very curious to see if it's going to last so i'll probably update the description box down below um just to let you guys know if it did last or not on my skin i think i'm gonna go in with this palette this palette's gorgeous i love it when i saw it i was like "Ooh, there was this one and then there was also the paradise palette that looked so darn pretty and i was gonna pick that one up too but i was like no melissa just pick up one this is definitely like my type of palette this looks so pretty and like one thing that like i've noticed is like if you want to do an all blue eye like you literally could just go straight down here and use all blue all purple all pink all orange all yellow i kind of want to go in with the orange or with like these tones because these look so pretty we'll see we'll see what i end up doing but first things first i'm going to just set my whole entire lid and that's just because this feels like really wet so i'm gonna go in with this shade right here this is the shade winning and i'm gonna tap that all over just to really set everything i know some people like doing this other people hate doing this it's really just like a personal preference sometimes i do sometimes i don't but today i kind of feel like i do because that just felt really wet and then it's just going to go sliding everywhere now we're going to go in with a transition shade and i think i want to mix these two shades right here woody and then campground mixing between the two I just want to throw that right in my crease and i'm going very lightly and that is just because i didn't know how pigmented this was but it's definitely building up very pretty and blending out pretty well as well i've heard so many amazing things about pro fusion palettes it's actually pretty pigmented and i think for the eyeshadow palettes it was like 13 bucks but everything else was like a lot of the stuff was four bucks five bucks because they had the sale going on i think 10 bucks was the one blush palette it's very affordable that's one thing that i've noticed i feel like i always go for higher end makeup but drugstore has really been killing it lately i kind of want to go back to my roots and really play around with drugstore products because i feel like i don't really do that as much and drugstore really has like a huge place in my heart i have some holy grail drugstore products but i feel like I don't always showcase that on my channel i'm just really blending this out this is actually incredibly easy to blend out i don't know if this shade is going to show up because i want to take that shade i'm going to use the same exact brush this is just the morphe m533 okay it's showing up i'm putting it right in the crease and sort of all below the crease definitely more of a lighter tone i'm like really drawn to these two shades right here i think i'm just gonna do it this is the shade onyx and i'm just gonna take a little bit of it okay that's not too dark i thought it was gonna be a lot worse this is a elf blending brush so we're just using it to pack that color on at first i'm gonna take a blending brush just blend this shade. 
this is like the shade that I wanted. I just thought it was going to be darker. Like the shade Onyx, it doesn't live up to what I thought this was going to be. Although it's pretty, it just doesn't live up to that color that I thought it was going to be. I'm taking a different brush. I'm taking a Morphe M433. A little bit of better. It does have a slight... Not glitter, but more so sheen to it. And I'm going to take that, this shade right here, which is the shade Witty. And I'm just going to run that, ooh, there's something on my brush. <laughs> I'm just going to run that through the crease just to sort of blend everything out. Next, I want to take this beautiful shade, which is the shade Legendary. Yeah, that shade's really not really working, so I'm going to try to go in with my finger instead. Yeah, I feel like it applies better with a the finger. Then I want to take this really, really pretty shade, which is the shade Superstar. Okay, yeah, this is good with a brush. Then I'm going to go back into the Onyx shade. Then I'm going to go back into that Witty shade. Just run that through the crease one last time. So for lower lash line, I'm going to take that Onyx shade and I'm going to basically tight line my lower lash line. I'm not going all the way in. I'm basically going about halfway in then I'm gonna go in and mix these two shades witty and campground and I'm just gonna blend and when you do this just be sure to kind of marry that lower lash line with the outer corner of your eyeshadow so next i want to play with these let me go into rose quartz i feel like that would be gorgeous with this look instead of me doing like the typical like line what i want to do is i want to throw this into like my crease kind of i hope the camera is going to be able to pick that up i feel like yeah you guys could see that yeah i think i want to go over it with the silver just because i feel like this doesn't really go now I have the silver shade and we're gonna try it with the silver instead I'm just gonna go like basically right on top all right so I'm just going to let this dry for a little bit all right guys so my hooded eyes messed this one up a tiny bit so if you have hooded eyes definitely make sure that it definitely stays dry but yeah it looks really pretty I actually really like that these are definitely fun and we are going to play with the eyes some more I have the waterproof pencil right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and line my waterline with this Ooh, that's actually pretty valid yeah, I like this. This is black. Very easy to put on. Very creamy. I definitely, definitely do like that. Next, I want to go ahead and put on the liquid liner. I really like the applicator of this. Yeah, this definitely makes getting that line super, super easy. I really do like the tip. It's very small. Um, yeah, I like this a lot, actually. Let's put on some mascara. So this is the Lash Out Loud Mascara. It looks really small sleek i actually really like it, it looks very high end that is what the wand looks like and let's just go ahead and put this on my lashes this definitely isn't like a super wet formula okay not bad like i like it i don't think i would repurchase this again this is something i would definitely use but i definitely have others that are better it does add like a nice curl so let me go ahead and do my brows i'm so excited for brows i feel like when i do brows the whole look is just gonna come together i have the little pencil that i'm gonna go in with first this is in the shade soft brown yeah this is more of like a tint slash gel thing so i'm mostly just putting my brows on with this okay so it's super thin that tip so basically right now i'm sort of just outlining my brows and then I'm just doing little hair like strokes just to fill them in. I actually like the pencil. I feel like the pencil is 
pigmented. Not bad. I like the pencil. I feel like I like that pencil better than the Wonder Bra pencil that I'm using at the moment. But right now, let's go ahead and spoolie. It feels so weird. Like me not cleaning them up with concealer. It feels so weird. This is like the tint isn't as pigmented as like I thought it would be, but doesn't look bad. It looks pretty good. I'm not even going to lie. So let me go ahead and contour. This is contour and highlight, but I think I'm just going to use the contour shades in here and then use the highlight uh, shades in the Illuminizer palette that I have. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's a very light contour, pretty pigmented for being like a light contour. I'm just going to take that and sort of sweep that around my nose, same shade, and put it just underneath my lip. Definitely a letter. I feel like I could even go in with the darker shade, so let me lightly tap onto there. And I'm going to take this cream shade right on a fluffy brush. This is just the e.l.f. powder brush. Not really too contour, but just to lighten up this area. A tiny bit I actually really like this I feel like I could definitely use these two let me actually swatch a highlighter for you guys let me just swatch these highlighters feel so darn soft these highlights look very very pretty I really like how they look we're gonna go ahead and use the bronzer and blush palette really really pretty there even as highlight I didn't even notice that so it does come with a brush I'm just gonna mix these two shades they actually look really pretty it is a little powdery and it's very pigmented. Definitely very, very powdery. I'll show you guys. I'm go ahead and do my forehead. Yeah, look at how pigmented that is. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that again. Really tap off that excess. And I wanna do my jawline. I'm just gonna bring this down. I like that. Next, we're going to go ahead and do some blush. Maybe I'll mix this bloom shade and the lush shade so this shade and this shade they're both matte this um ooh la la shade is a shimmer and then this shade elated is a shimmer just gonna tap off the excess like my brush i'm a little nervous so i'm just gonna go with this side i not have too much on very pigmented really just focusing that more so on the apples and then i'm just going to diffuse so it's not super intense but it looks really pretty like I really like that shade and and then we're gonna go ahead and add the highlight I'm so darn excited for this and these are the highlighters that I picked I may do this shade with a touch of that shade apply that Ooh, that is pretty apply a little bit here down my nose tip of my nose, cupid's bow. I've been liking applying a little on my chin. I want to apply just a tiny bit here. I'm going to take the shade lightning and the shade impulse. So these two shades right here. I'm going to apply that to my brow bone. Take those two shades and apply it to the inner corner. Sort of bringing that down a little bit too. Yes, I love this so much. Now the last step, I will swatch them all for you. Ooh, that's pretty. Then it comes with a gloss. Oh, that's just a very light pink sort of gloss. It's right next to it. Then it comes with a lip liner, which that is what that looks like. Very pink, but very pretty. Have the shade Ballet. I'll swatch that right here. It's a very pretty nude color. I feel like this color is probably going to be the color I'm going to go with. This is a shade Swoon. I don't really think that's gonna, what I'm going to use. And then the last shade, which is the shade Desire. That is the shade Desire right here. So we have Kissable, which is that lip kit that I got. Ballet, The Wound, and Desire. Kind of really in between these two shades. I feel like this shade is a little too pink. I make up with Ballet, actually. It feels extremely lightweight. I might top it off with some of the swoon deepen it up a little bit and maybe i'll just put the gloss on top just add a little a sheen to it not bad it really doesn't go with this look ballet would have been pretty but it was a little too late for my liking i feel like if i had a darker lip liner then 
that would have been perfect zoom you guys out and then just give you guys my final thoughts and impressions on everything all right so i'm not going in any specific order the eyeliners i actually really really liked uh waterproof eyeliner pencil really really liked how pigmented it was very creamy very easy to put on actually also really did like the liquid liner and that's just because it was hard it had a little bit of a bend to it don't necessarily think i would like this for wings and that is just because i like mine to have a little bit more give but this is still really pretty very black very easy to get that nice straight line so i really did like that the eyeshadow base um i liked it it really reminded me of the uh primer potion from urban decay uh, i really can't give my final thoughts and impressions on this until i see at the end of the day if my uh, eyeshadow is still on but i will leave uh what my final thoughts and impressions on this down below for you guys the lipsticks i actually really really like i'll show you guys what they look like dry that is the three right up here that's what they look like dry it was a very lightweight they dry down pretty fast they are matte so it doesn't get on my finger like look i'm literally rubbing right up against it, it doesn't get anywhere so i really like them they feel really really light um i really do love these colors and i would definitely get more of the lipsticks i feel like they look beautiful then as far as these this looks really pretty i really like the gloss gloss is thin and not really sticky it has like a little bit of stick but it's not like thick sticky it's just like just regular sticky on your lips i feel like this is definitely something i would have to sort of reapply just because i feel like even now some of it's kind of gone but it does have that slight pigment to it it looks really pretty so i would definitely use this again this is just something that you're definitely gonna have to reapply more throughout the day lip liner looked really good i liked the tip of it very pointy i really like this color um not for this look but just in general it looks very very pretty so definitely really do like this uh color combination the mascara I like. Don't necessarily think I would recommend it or buy it again. I feel like the Maybelline one that I've been using, which is like 10 bucks, is great. The Lash Out Loud mascara was 4 bucks. So for 4 bucks, not horrible. It did really well. It just, I feel like if you want a really good mascara that's so affordable, the Maybelline one is definitely uh, a little bit better. The highlighters I really liked. I feel like they look beautiful. They look blinding. I feel like I could make it even more blinding if like I wet my brush and do that. It looks really pretty. It is very powdery. I've noticed that a lot of the face products are extremely powdery, but I don't mind that. It doesn't really matter to me. I feel like as long as the product performs really well, I really don't care. I feel like it's beautiful. The colors are beautiful. This is definitely something I would wear every single day. And yeah, I definitely really, really like this actually. The contour and highlight palette. So the highlighters I swatched for you guys, they looked beautiful. Definitely something I would be using every day. I like how I can just grab this and go highlight and contour. I like that. Um, I feel like this shade I could even use for a bronzer if need be, if I didn't have a bronzer on me. But this is great for contouring. It really did add just that little extra definition that I need. Um, I actually really liked this shade for sort of highlighting. Um, if you want more of an intense highlight, I would definitely go in with something that is wet like your wet beauty sponge and then just make that nice sharp line but I went in with a brush and I feel like it did the it did a good job it brightened up that area brightened up my chin brightened up underneath my eyes it looks really nice and I would totally continue to use this I actually really like this probably I'm not even gonna lie all these products I'm gonna use in my uh vanity that i have now just like use up and use every single day because i love it this is actually really really pretty too i love the blushes that are in here again pretty powdery but it doesn't really bother me that much i like them even like the bronzers and stuff i really like the bronzers on my face it looks very pretty very natural you could use it for uh, bronzer or even contour if need be shades are beautiful they're pigmented and they're very easy to blend out which is great because sometimes if you have a blush that's very pigmented it's a little bit harder to blend out because it's just so overly pigmented but this is pigmented but also very easy to blend out and just look seamless and look really natural on your skin so i actually really really like this the brow products i actually really like as well i really like the brow pencil a lot better than my wonder beauty one i'm gonna be honest definitely use this again i like the spoolie at the end the color is great for me really matches my roots i need to get my hair dyed but it looks really good so i definitely do like this this tinted brow gel i like but i feel like i like 
my NYX one better. I like my Anastasia ones better. I like my L'Oreal one better. I feel like this one's a little bit too drying and not super, super pigmented. I don't feel like, I feel like my brows can still kind of go places, you know what I'm saying? Versus my other ones, I feel like my brows are locked and they're not going anywhere for the day. I'm not really a huge fan of this, but it comes with the brow pencil and I feel like I like the brow pencil. I would totally buy the brow pencil again. And if this comes with it, I wouldn't necessarily be mad but I probably won't be reaching for this that much these I really really like these are the glitter liners this is a bring it on glitter liner I really really like these I feel like this would be great to make like a wing with or even like I did just that nice pop of glitter right there it looks really pretty when I look straight on you don't see it but when I blink you see that little fun pop of glitter and I feel like it's just really fun I don't know I really like this this festival palette is beautiful everything was super easy to blend out I love the colors very pigmented um yeah I really like them I mean some like this shade I would definitely go in with my finger rather than my brush this one more my brush so you kind of just have to play around with certain uh shadows really do like the layout of this um i feel like you could even go more diagonal if you want like that could be an eye look that could be an eye look this could be an eye look you could totally just kind of mix and match and i actually really like this palette very pigmented very easy to blend i like this a lot and then as far as this one i didn't get to try this one out i'll probably play with this tomorrow maybe I probably won't film with it but that palette just looks like it's totally up my alley I love these sort of shadows the brush feels not super soft but I feel like it would be a good blending brush I'm really excited to use this two thumbs up for everything I loved everything really the only thing that I was kind of like eh about was the mascara and then just the eyebrow uh sort of tint the tinted brow gel just because it didn't really feel jelly and I feel like my brows feel like they could move around all day and this not bad for the price but there are others that could do a lot better yeah that is it for this video guys I hope that you did enjoy I just wanted to give you guys really in-depth review on everything I'm excited to test these products out some more and they're gonna be going in my drawer right now so yeah that is it please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy also please do not forget to subscribe before you go so you can be part of the ATFB fam ATFB all things fashion and beauty and if you hit the post notification bell you can get notified of all my future uploads I usually do upload every Monday Wednesday and Friday 3 p.m. Eastern. EST. But that's it guys. I hope that you guys enjoy and I don't know when this video is going to be up but happy new year guys and make 2020 an amazing year. I just want to thank you guys for your constant love and support and I appreciate every single one of you guys. I wouldn't be here without you and I really appreciate you guys. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!